Hey, it's Billy. And it's Pat. And, and we're, we're talking, talking holiday family time. When you're in a relationship, how do you figure out which family to visit for which holiday? Mm -hmm. It can be stressful, yeah. political, yeah. and sometimes a uh, tense situation between mm -hmm. couples. What was going on a year ago? Oh, mm, just planning our wedding, getting married. And what didn't we really pay attention to last year? Anything else. <laughs> <laughs> we got married right between Thanksgiving and Christmas, so um, luckily my parents, who lived much farther away than Billy's parents, said, don't worry about trying to come see us on the holidays. You have a lot going on, so don't let that be another stressor. Go to Billy's family's house. They're closer. It's fine, which was very nice. <laughs> and very, like, and got rid of the anxiety. Yeah, definitely. This year, there's no wedding. So we have both Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, and we were kind of concerned, what are we going to do? Are we going to have to swap back and forth? But my parents, thankfully, offered and said, don't even think about us go to his family. Uh, we'll think about you, but yeah. we might not come visit you. <laughs> <laughs> Choosing where to go for holidays, though, can be stressful. And luckily, Billy and I discussed this way long ago, kind of when we first Early started in the relationship. <laughs> we decided to make things fair. Every year, we would split Thanksgiving and Christmas between our two parents' house. Meaning, if we go to Pat's house on Thanksgiving, we go to Billy's parents' house on Christmas, and then the next year, we flip Swap them. Swap it. It's very nice to have families that are understanding and are flexible so there are with some that. that are not. I would like to impart some wisdom on folks out there that are really strict with the holidays. You have to realize that families and relationships evolve and change over time, and it's very important that you respect that people are going to want to create their own traditions at some point. And you can't really blame someone for that. And I feel like that happens way too often. Yeah. It's true though. People get married. They have kids. They suddenly have in-laws, other families. Like, you're right. Families change and traditions change. And sometimes you got to roll with it and opening presents with mom and dad from Santa Claus on Christmas morning may not be an option anymore. The interesting thing about that is now, do we have to host a holiday sometime that, soon? That's what I'm excited for because I've tried to push it out there and I've mentioned Thanksgiving to my parents and they kind of said next year might be an option. Maybe we'll try one of the lesser known holidays first like Arbor Day. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you guys divvy up your holidays? Mm -hmm. We'd love to know so leave some comments, share it with us and uh, we'll be making some more videos for you very soon. Yep. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Yo. Don't make me get the hose. Cats.